this is an eyeshadow primer and basically gonna just put that all over the lid from top to bottom all the way up to your brow bone and basically like a BB size amount maybe even a little less but it helps your eyeshadow last longer and make it crease resistant now I'm going to take MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study, and this is kind of an extra step. You don't really have to do it, and um, the primer usually will do the job, but I like a little extra stickiness every now and then, and um, since I'm going to use kind of a frosty champagne shade on my lid first, I figured I would use this paint pot. And it'll just kind of help uh, make things more intense. So, first, I'm going to go into the shade Telepathy. I'm going to use my Coastal, uh, Coastal Scents eyeshadow brush. And it is number two. And I'm going to pat that all over the lid. Just up to the crease. Do not go past the crease. But just patting that all on, basically where you put the paint pot. Now I'm going to get the shade Entomology, and it's basically a skin tone, a very, very light skin tone shade. Um, it has very tiny little dust of sparkles in it, not shimmers, actual sparkles. Which The light's kind of picking up on that a little bit, but I'm just using that as kind of a easy blending transition shade. Taking my Coastal Sense blending brush and using the shade Killing Jar, this is a soft brown and just blending that into my crease, be kind of back and forth, uh, windshield wiper motions. Um, it's a really great crease shade. Good, good transition shade. And again, back and forth with the blending brush. It's really soft, so it's not going to come off too harsh, and so it'll give you that gradient smoke out look, which is good. It's a good thing good things. Now, taking my Lancome Small Precision, Precision Brush, number 12, and I'm going to dip that right into that burnt orange shade, and it is called Deadhead. And it is an awesome, awesome orange, burnt orange. And I'm basically just <laughs> kind of just patting it, slapping that on, and um, into the outer. Um, lid there outer one outer third I guess I should say and kind of being a little sloppy with it because I'm not too worried because I'm going to blend that out but I did that so it would come off a little stronger so I'm going to take that coastal sense uh, blending brush and it is actually brush number six as I grab it here and it's a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to kind of do, again, kind of swirl little windshield wiper type motions, but more in a swirly type action, and blend that back and forth. And you get a, a little more smoked out type look, a gradient look. And I think these shades that I'm using today are great for fall, great for Thanksgiving time. Now I'm going to take a Coastal Scents Crease Blending Brush and I'm going to use this dark matte brown shade. Um, when I put it on, it's going to kind of come off like almost like a black, but it's, it's truly a dark brown. But that's okay, because when we go to smoke it out, it's going to come off more brown. So basically, I've pushed that into the crease and um, in the outer, almost in the V like kind of crescent type form. And I will blend it. Alright, so blending that kind of again, kind of back and forth, windshield wiper motions, sometimes a little bit of a swirl if I really kind of want to blend out a dark spot in the eyeshadow. Um, make sure you're just even on both sides of your eyes, so if you kind of go out in a V on your left eye, you want to go out in a V on your right eye. Okay, and I'm going back in with that shade Killing Jar again. 
um, with the blending brush. And I'm just going to put that right back in my crease again. Um, sometimes when you blend shades, you can lose shades. So I'm just kind of helping that give um, my darker shade a little bit more gradient smoked out effect. And going back in with the dark shade again, because I don't want to lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it. So just kind of back and forth, a lot of, a lot of repetition here, just back and forth blending. Sometimes you got to layer on shadows a couple times to get the look that you want. So now I'm going back in with that burnt orange shade again. Favorite kick-ass shade. I don't want to lose it in my blending, so I'm just going back in and blending it out. Pretty cool shade. Really warms up the eye. And I think those kind of orange shades are good for gray eyes, too. Alright, I'm going with the champagne shade. And re-putting that on. And now going in with my 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Lucky. And this pencil matches the burnt orange shade perfectly. They are a match made in heaven. And I'm just putting that on my lower lash line on the outer third. Not all the way in, but just in the outer. And then I'm going to take a small uh, blending, excuse me, a small smudge brush. And it's actually Coastal Scents brush number one. It's a really teeny tiny little brush. So cute. And I'm going to dip into telepathy a little bit and put that all along the lo lower lash line and into that pencil and taking my long comb brush a little bit and putting a little excess of the burnt orange on the outer so I don't lose it. So it kind of gives... Now, I'm um, grabbing the NYX Hot Single in Whipped Cream. My all-time favorite white shadow. I use it every day. Um, I always use it and put it in the inner part of my eye. Um, I'm using a, my small smudge brush and putting it in my inner tear duct. Brightens up the eye. Kind of that's where the light's going to want to go and so you'll look more awake. And again, your eyes will look bigger and brighter. Gives that little faked out effect. And I'm also going to put that onto the brow bone as well. Um, but sometimes this white is a fabulous white and it is pretty strong. So I'm going to go in with the shade Entomology here and kind of soften that. And don't want to look like you have drag queen brows, but maybe you do. So it's your prerogative. So just softening that, and there we go. I'm taking my art liner in long comb art liner in shade noir. Always remember to shake uh, the eyeliner up. It's a liquid, and it has a little ball in there to shake it up. And I'm gonna do a winged cat eye. Um, I do a winged cat eye on my eyes every single day no matter what. Um, I typically always use liquid. Um, every once in a while I'll throw in there and use my, well, some of my gels. Um, but honestly liquid is my favorite. It's the easiest for me. Um, I, I never use a pencil on my upper lash line. That's just a preference. That's not a rule. Um, but if you are more comfortable using a pencil, please do. Do what works for you. I, I can do a cat eye pretty quickly, so um, every day, if you do it every day, you're bound to, to get some practice. I still screw up every now and then, and it's very hard to do it in the camera, as you're probably seeing, but on an average normal day when no one's watching, I can bust it out pretty quickly. Alright, so now it's 24-7. Um, Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Pencil, which is a matte, um, creamy, a creamy matte pencil. And I like it. 
But I'm putting it right on that water line. And um, basically going to kind of help uh, define my eyes a little bit. I have a lot of shimmery light shadows all around my eyes, so I kind of want to add some definition there. So I went with the black. And I'm going to curl my lashes, which I don't do every day, but decided to do it with this look. Sometimes I don't see a big difference with curling my lashes. Now I'm going to take uh, my Lancome Sills Booster which is an eyelash primer and it will help condition your lashes make them less likely to break um, make them longer it doesn't make them grow but it's going to add some thickness and volume and length so when you put on your mascara it has a little bit of a little help there and I'm looking for my mascara and I'm going to use Benefit their real mascara and this happens to be a sample that I'm using it's still really good so I'm gonna use the sample still but I have purchased a uh, full size I really liked it I got this as a Sephora perk a little freebie got to try it never tried it before and I really really like it I am always looking for the biggest best thing in mascara I absolutely love mascara, mascara horror right here. So, um, yeah, about the full size, like it. And I don't know if you can really tell, but this mascara, if you haven't used it before, it has like these little, like almost little bristles, like spike bristles that are kind of poking out at the edge of the brush a little bit, and it kind of helps you get all your smaller lash line and, uh, the smaller lashes excuse me all right now I'm gonna take my Lancome Rouge and Love lipstick in 106 uh, Jolie's Mountains and it is a dark coral and now going in with my NYX Mega Shine lip gloss in nude peach and I like a little bit of shine on the lips a little bit of stickiness so there you go. It's a kind of a light coral shade, so it kind of gives a nice there. I'm just kind of doing the finishing touches now, checking things out, make sure everything looks okay, which I think it does. Smile, yay! And that is the look. So I hope you guys like it, and feel free to like and comment. And subscribe. Thanks for watching.